Hello Floss 2 friends. <laughs> I am back today for a quick video because the lovely and talented uh, farm girl Michelle Rudy threw down a stitch nine challenge and I love a good challenge. It took me a while to figure out from my five million webs which nine I wanted to focus on a finish for this year but I think I finally completely narrowed it down and I'm going to make it official by showing you on this video. I did post on uh, Michelle's Facebook group, The Nine, but I realized that not everyone has access to that, so I thought I would share it here as well. All of these are, all of these but one are previous Mania starts. So here we go. My first one, and I, these are not in any particular order of when I'm going to work on them or when they were first started, so we'll just go with the flow here. My first one is called Cherry Hollow Farm Sampler. It is by Stacy Nash, and this is what it will hopefully look like when completed. This is where I have gotten to. This was a Stitch Mania 2018 start, and this is where I am currently. I'm stitching this piece on 36 count Weeks Dye Works beige linen, one over two, and it calls for all Weeks Dye Works threads. So, beautiful one. My next one is from Heartstring Samplery. It's called the Queen Bee, Queen Bee Pin Cushion and will look something like this when finished. This is also a 2018 Mania start and it is barely a tiny little start <laughs> that looks like this right now. And I'm stitching this on 36 count picture this plus legacy one over two and again using the call for threads that I believe are gentle arts and weak style works. Next one up is one that I started in Mania 2017 continued with on it in the um, 2018 Mania. It's from the spring 2017 edition of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher. And it is Sarah Ann Cotty sampler. A beautiful sampler by Willow Hill Samplings. And I'm stitching this one on um, hand dyed fiber by Vicki Clayton, 36 count, that I over dyed myself. And this is how far I've made it on this one. And like I said, I started this in 2017 Mania. It's using Gentle Art Sampler threads. I love this piece. I love the colors, even though I'm not really, it has shades of purple in it, but they're very muted. So I'm anxious to get back to that one. Okay. Uh, the fourth one that I plan to complete this year is a piece from you and I and friends called Lady Liberty. And this is what it should look like when complete. A very nice whimsical design. And I'm stitching this one on 25 count Lugana one over one. And I have a face. And this is using DMC threads. 
and this was also a 2018 Mania Start. Adam and Eve by the Primitive Needle, which was a 2017 Mania piece. I am stitching this one also on hand dyed fiber by Vicki Clayton that I over dyed using, um, well, it's a 40 count. I'm stitching this one over two using the call for NPI silks. So I have Eve. I just need an atom and a tree. Uh, all right, my next one, which is the sixth one, is by Homespun Elegance. And it's titled The Reproduction Sampler One Unfinished. This is her reproduction, and this, I think, is the original. I've had this piece in my collection for a long time, this pattern. I'm stitching this on 40 count hand dyed fiber by Vicki Clayton using the call for DMC. I'm stitching one over two on this one. Not a huge start, but given the fact that there's a lot of blank space in this sampler, this one should not take very long to complete. I also think I might, once stitched, I might do an over dye on this to tone it down a little bit because in the photo the colors especially some of the pinks are not showing as vibrant as they are in real life and I kind of like the washed out look next up is a piece that I started in Mania 2017 and also worked on Weave It in Mania 2018, one of my favorites that I can't believe I haven't um, gotten more progress on, called Vintage Birds by Jeanette Douglas. Beautiful pattern. And I am stitching this on 36 count picture of this plus Legacy using the call for threads, which I think probably include um, weak style works, gentle arts, and some classic color works. And I'm stitching this one over two. Then another Stacy Nash piece that was started in Mania 2018. And the name of the sampler is Lyd Lydia Corker Sampler Bag. That will look like this when complete. And it comes from the book, My Name is Lydia. And I am stitching this piece on 36 count R&R Espresso using, again, the call for, uh, no, this one's called um, NPI Silks. And I'm stitching this one over two. Not a very big start on this, but I am anxious to get it back into my rotation. And because it's a Stacey Nash piece, I can also use it for my 2019 Stitch Medium. 
And last but not least is the one that has never been a Mania piece. And that is Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Stamplery. I started this sow in April 2017. This is what it will look like when complete. I am using all the called for. The fabric is 40 count stars hollow. And I've been, I have been working on this one. Um, when I started, I didn't have the words here on the top. First, I drink the coffee. So I completed that recently. This motif, as well as this one, and moving up to this one right now. So not a lot to go on this one in the whole scheme of things. I'm hoping to finish it within the next week or two and then move on to the next piece. I loved it when it came out. I still love it. I love the call for colors. And I'm looking forward to I hope you can see that. Looking forward to a finish on this. So those are my nine. I'm locking them in. It was a very difficult decision because I have so many uh, pieces that I want to finish. And as I mentioned on my um, previous video, I am going to focus on one at a time on these as well as choosing another piece out of my massive pile of whips to um, work on daily as well. And that way get a few finishes, big finishes this year, rather than a lot of small ones. I wanna focus on my larger pieces. I think that's it. I wanna thank Michelle Rudy for issuing this challenge and I, have loved seeing everyone's choices and I can't wait to to watch the progress. I know there have been some who have already had their first finishes so I'm anxious to see more. That's it for now. I'm hoping to be back possibly at the beginning of next month to show you my progress and my I do have a finish to show you um, in the next round of videos. So until then, my friends, I wish you well and happy stitching. Bye for now.